Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to use the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers to find the maximum value of x power m into y power n into z power p, where x plus y plus z is equal to a. Let's take this as f of x comma y comma z, which is nothing but x power m y power n into z power p and g of x comma y comma z is x plus y plus z minus a. Now we have to write the auxiliary function which is nothing but capital F of x comma y comma z comma lambda. This auxiliary function capital F will be in terms of x, y, z and lambda it is equal to f of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z. We are going to substitute. So capital F equal to x power m y power n and z power p plus lambda into x plus y plus z minus a. Now as per the procedure we have to find positive differentiation of f with respect to x. So x differentiation is sorry x power m differentiation is m x power m minus 1 and the rest of the terms are constant. So we have to write as it is y power n z power p plus lambda into 1 which is lambda. Now, positive differentiation with respect to y will be first term as it is y power n differentiation is y power n is n y power n minus 1 into z power p then lambda into 1 because y differentiation is 1 then f z is x power m y power n p z power p minus 1 plus lambda into 1 which is lambda. Then as for the working procedure and condition we have to equate this to 0. Now in each case we can get the value of the lambda. From the first part lambda is minus m x power m minus 1 y power m z power p. Let's take this as the first equation. Then from the second part we get lambda as minus x power m n y power n minus 1 z power p. Then from the third part again lambda is minus x power m y power m p into z power p minus 1. Let's take this as a third equation. Now all the three are lambda we are going to equate all the three. So minus m x power m minus 1 y power n z power p equal to minus x power m n y power n minus 1 z power p which is equal to minus x power m y power n p z power p minus 1. Now we are going to split the x power m minus 1 as x power m into x power minus 1 and rest of the terms as it is. Similarly here we are going to split y power n as y power n into y power minus 1 into z power p. Then the last term minus x power m y power minus x power m y power n p into z power p into z power minus 1. Now we can cancel x power m, y power n, z power p everywhere. So this term can be cancelled and the minus n can also be removed. So we get only m x power minus 1 is by x. So is equal to here we have only n by y power minus 1 is by y and this is we have p by z. 
so we have a relation between x y and z so let's equate these two and I cross multiply m y equal to n x so y is equal to n by m x similarly let's take the second and third term and cross multiply n z is equal to p y so z is equal to p by n into y now we got the relation between x y and z and we are going to substitute in this condition x plus y plus z is equal to a so now we know x plus y plus z is equal to a now i am going to substitute everything in terms of x so let's keep the first term x as it is y is n by m into x plus z is p by n into y but y itself n by m into x which is equal to a so from this we are going to take lcm before that let's cancel this so if i take x common it is 1 plus n by m plus p by m equal to a and if i take lcm or let's make a common denominator by multiplying here m and here also m so totally x into common denominator m so this is m plus n plus p equal to a so we got the value of x equal to a m divided by m plus n plus p similarly if i substitute this x value here i'll get y so y equal to n by m into x for x i'm going to put am by m plus n plus p so we can cancel this m and m so we get the value of y as am by m plus n plus p now coming to this p by n into y that is z z is equal to p by n into y so p by n into instead of y i have to put a n by m plus n plus p so we cancel these two from this the value of z is a p by m plus n plus p so we got the values of x y and z now the stationary point is x comma y comma z so that we will write so the stationary point is we put it as a coordinate am by m plus n plus p comma an by m plus n plus p comma a p by m plus n plus p now to find the maximum value of this we have to substitute x y z here so the maximum value equal to maximum value equal to x power m so a m by let's write it here a m by m plus n plus p whole power m then y power n y value we substitute here whole power n then a p by m plus n plus p whole power p that is z power p x power m y power n z power p now if i take individually that is a power m then m power m divided by m plus n plus p whole power m into a power n n power n divided by m plus n plus p whole power n then 
a power p into p power p divided by m plus n plus p whole power p. Now, in the numerator, we can find a power m, a power n, a power p. So, since base is same, we can add the power m plus n plus p into then rest of the terms m power m into n power n into p power p as it is. Even in the denominator, bases are same. m plus n plus p. Then we can add the power which is m plus n plus p. So this is our required maximum value of the given function.